Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, just going to go through the Defending America Basel module that I think I finished up on. I think I've got everything, um, but I'll test it a little bit, make sure before I post it up. Um, be easier to do it this way than try to write up some kind of a guide for it. Um, so, start out at the main screen here. Everything on this page have got automated. Um, if you have an atomic uh, raid, you're going to just click atomic and just move this to the various zones. That will disappear when you go back home. Uh, you should be able to go, only go into the adjacent zones if I did my job right. And um, that also, all this also works up here on the cleanup, and that'll drop that down. Also, you start down here with the um, CVs. You can cycle through them, or you can move them to the various CV zones. Again, you should only be able to access the adjacent ones if I did my, my job right. And that will not return home, so that you um, can, uh, you, don't, you don't want that reset every time you, you reset a, a battle. Um, current weather, put the weather in that you got, that will return back home, whatever weather you're going to be landing in. Target zone, put that in either zone or five, again, that'll return. Zone five or six right there. Um, I did forget Air Force bases, so we'll have to put them in there. That'll be the same as the carrier, though, they'll just be a click. Um, atomic bombs, I put this up here to keep track of the atomic bomb hits that are supposed to negate, uh, take negative uh, modifiers on your um, victory. It only goes up to 15, but, um, and I have that not resetting. You'll have to do that manually, because again, you don't want that resetting after every, I mean, you do, you really don't want the atomic hits, but, um, your, we'll get to the planes in a little bit. Um, I haven't done much with this. I may do some more with this yet, but um, I haven't done a whole lot with that. Bombers, again, everything is um, automated. Um, all the damage. Um, they, I'm just putting it in fast. If you decrease it, instead of increasing it, it'll all go in fast. But if you do it one at a time, it goes in the way you're supposed to, as you see. Um, range usually decrease it to go uh, where you want to be. If you're in um, in in the uh, information there, uh, um, again decrease range. If you're out of formation, that will also reset as will everything else. Your incoming hits. Might want to just put some kind of a quick send in there, but I mean, come on, it's a it's a plus minus key on your on your number pad. You can you can do that. Um, again, the same thing will happen down on the other one. So all that's working. The other thing is is your your uh, bombers themselves. You send them to the bomber location. Um, and then when you say so you know which bomber are these two that you're attacking. That also returns. Not done with the fighters yet. Don't get excited. Oh yes, um, we got to go to the German fighters. The German fighters um, send to an escort location, which is down here. Once they're down there, you can put in the ace, veteran, or green. And then when you click up, click on clean up, that'll all disappear. That'll go back to there, and the other ones get deleted. Ammunition, um, just increase. Decrease, whatever, damage, um, jam, it'll all show up. Um, again, uh, send escort. Oh, that one, I got to double check that. That did not, I don't command, so I do got to work on that. That should be hide them. Maybe I need to make another disable. Anyway, um, incoming hits again, same here. Increasing round, decreasing round. The fighter, we'll get to that in a little bit. 
Um, all the bombers are done. The same exact same thing on all of them. And fighters. Um, on the fighters, you have two your two pieces up here. This one is the one that'll go to the um, bombers. So if we were to attack, uh, if we're going to attack the ME-364 to 27, we just attack over to there, and he will go into that fighter slot. And when you clean up, that will go back home. Um, you don't have to worry about that. The other fighter up here, we're going to launch, so we're on the side pan, and we're in zone 5. We're going to launch to zone 5. And when we're down here, we can move him to zone whatever zones. You can move him around. And when you hit the clean up down here, he'll return home. Your current CV and your formations are up here. Again, your pilot wounds, random events. Your random events won't clear. Actually, I've got to take these two and change them. I thought I had done that already. They should not clear when you um, hit clean up. Uh, let's see what else is there I wanted to show you guys. Yes, this, uh, your weapons that need to be unlocked. I put a key on them. You'll only see the unlock. So once you get that weapon unlocked, you can unlock it. And then you have the menu as, as to what you need. The fighters that have multiples, again, you'd have to unlock that. Once you have the both, you got to either or. You just mark the one as unused, so whichever one you're not going to use, and that'll disable the thing. So you don't forget which one you're using. Um, again, all these should. Yes, yeah, see, I got to get rid of that. I got to get rid of that. A little bit more work to do yet. That's why we run through them. Um, that should be it on the fighters, except um, series production that comes from the pilot. Uh, which we'll go to next. On the pilots, all your metals are here. They will not clean. Uh, well, they will clean up because you don't want to hit clean up on this until you're done the game. Uh, promotion. If you get in a bar fight, promotion is going to be either here or in the navy up here. And once you use that, you're going to do that. Just go promote. Um, experience points again. They go up to 15. They will reset only when you're done the game. A stamina, if you get it, then you're going to send that to whatever plane that you want to send it to, whatever one you're flying. Um, and again, that'll clean up too. But if you don't get it, then it's not there. You'll have to buy it. That's why I added that in there for that. Gunnery, um, you get the minus one. If you actually buy it, then it'll get rid of it. Um, if you don't have it, it just stays blank. Same for uh, Expert and ACM. They're set up the same way. These here, um, you just advance them until you get to the Advanced Achieved, and you just hit that. Again, clean up. And then up here, Series Production. Um, there's four of them for the U.S. Uh, Air Force, and I'm running out of places to put stuff, so I put it up here. Um, you just hit these. Uh, say we're going to activate the Black Widow of the U.S. Air Force. Try to make everything a um, little right click, right click menu. So if you're going to activate the X1 Black Widow. Your series productions up there. I put four of them here, and I put them above the prestige, so you remember that you have to uh, buy them. You can't just use them. And um, yeah, if you make a mistake, you can always move it around. But that will not clean up. All right. And I believe that is the logs. Pretty automated. Um, I don't have the specifics in there. I just put it so you can type everything in. And notes, um, call sign, and everything. But there are two log sheets that, uh, as per the game, and everything should be good on that. Most people use the Excel versions and stuff anyway. But I make those. I like to make those um, um, 
available. Uh, so I believe that is everything. That's a quick over overview on everything here. Oh yes, the target zone flips to be nuclear. So if you have a nuclear target, you, you won't forget it. And if it is nuclear, and you move it to zone 6 or whatever, when you clean up, it'll go back to target zone. All right. Uh, I think that's everything. Um, that will be the, as soon as I'm sure I've got most of the bugs worked out, that will be getting uploaded to the Vassal um, as uh, version uh, 2, I think I called it. And uh, thanks for joining me. That's uh, a wrap for today. We will see you next time. Thank you.